Hello, good evening. In today's video, I'm going to review the camera I bought 11 months ago. It's the Canon EOS 200D, and um, I bought it from a second hand store. And today, I'm going to share my recommendations, suggestions, the pros and the cons about the camera and its uh, body, also lens, and um, what can I do with this camera in the future. And I uh, share my experiences, and uh, also, I'm going to give you a little bit scope of the camera yeah right now I'm going to review the camera and I've been using this camera for 11 months I'm usually taking street photographies and um, portrait photographies I'm really uh, liking the atmosphere the crowd atmosphere I really like to understand the people's movements that's why I'm really into street and portrait photography and uh, besides I had taken some um, landscape photography but the street photography and the portrait quality is just better than the landscape uh, business because I'm using the 18 to 55 millimeter of the standard kit lens and uh, it has got also image stabilization property but um, it's a standard kit lens and it's very good for the portrait business and also street photography but the, with the landscape its aperture length is not very great. Furthermore, I was using Canon SX, uh, Power, Canon PowerShot SX30 IS before and it's not a DSLR camera. It had a very good zoom property because it can zoom into the 30 or 35x with the optical zoom and furthermore you can zoom with the digital zoom to 120 or 140x probably. I, I I could take some moon photos, very good moon photos, I remember. With the 18 to 55 millimeter of the standard kit lens, you can't take moon photos, unfortunately. But if you are into that, you have to buy a telezoom lens. Uh, you can take moon photos or very uh, far away pictures very fluently and in a very great way. And it's one of the cheapest DSLR in the market, but it's very good for the intermediate and beginner photographies, I consider. The body is very lightweight as I said, however the shutter speed is very fast, it can take up to 1 over 1200 uh, as I remember, so it's very fast. You can also take short exposure and long exposure photos like the photos with the, how can I say, I forgot the, I forgot the name of this, um, the Northern Lights, you go to the Finland or maybe the Northern Cards race. Uh, you have to take long exposure photos. I had taken some, uh, I tried to take some long exposure photos by the cars and this for the sweet views in the night. The quality was great. But uh, I'm lacking some uh, light camera during the night because of the lens I can understand. The body quality and the lens quality is not like the Canon Marks or the best lenses in the market. That's why the night photography quality is not very good. But it's affordable, I think. It's, yeah, you can take nice photographs. You have to increase the ISO percentage, the ISO rate. When you increase the ISO, it becomes more grainy. So it affects the image quality and uh, some things can get very blurry. And if you are not going to increase the ISO, you have to increase the exposure you have or you have to lower down your shutter speed this can also blur your images that's why i recommend you to buy any other lens in the market the standard kit lens is not very good for the night photography but with the daylight it's very good the canon as 200d has nine out of focus points and i believe that it is very good for the beginner photographers i describe myself as an intermediate or in the midsection of the beginning the intermediate photographer and i consider if you are also a beginner photograph, great for you. The camera has got auto focus and manual focus properties. And um, if you are using the manual focus, you have to focus with your maybe showing it is the best way. Yeah, you can do that. But if you are using the auto focus, you can't change. Uh, you have to click from the touch screen or you can just press on to the button lightly then it just auto focuses moreover one of the most significant things about the uh, starting to use a new camera is just uh, going out by yourself 
trying some distinct um, priorities in the camera just enhancing the shutter speed and uh, lowering down the aperture and um, increasing the ISO maybe just trying auto focus and manual focus modes and try to understand which condition is best for the best situation for instance for the dark photographies autumn summer maybe the winter and uh, it definitely affects uh, your creativity. One of the downsides of this camera is definitely it's auto focusing mode during the videos and if you open auto focus during taking the videos it's just uh, some kind of a dizzy sound coming out of the camera because it just tries the auto focus. You're going to change your image focus or if there is some movement about the main focus of the object uh, it definitely affects the autofocus and it just tries to focus again but there is a sound coming of it and I, I don't think this is a very good side of the camera. Besides I would like to talk about the 18-55mm of the standard kit lens as well because the camera is coming with that one and its quality is very good. It just blurs back if you are going to focus to the main object for instance maybe to citizens but it's not giving very good quality like the 50mm of the lens it's uh, a standard lens for the portrait photography it's uh, blurring the background, it's flurring the background but this lens is also doing that but not as much as uh, the one that I mentioned but it's giving a uh, great quality for the beginners and for the intermediate photographers the aperture range is not very high the aperture range is not very high because you cannot go down to the f 1.8 f2 furthermore i would like to show you the camera and i would like to show some great preferences of the camera first of all if you are going to click this one it changes from visor to the main screen and if you are going to click one more time, it changes from the touch screen to visor. The screen is, as I have mentioned, it's touchable. It's a very good uh, property of the camera. If you click to menu, the menu just shows up. And if you click in the photo after taking the picture, it shows the grain of the photo, ISO and the RGB rates shutter speed, aperture and many distinct informations but let's mention about how to open the camera first if you just uh, switch to on it just turns on here is uh, some distinct settings about the preferences about the camera M is about the manual mode AV is for the aperture priority you can change your aperture the aperture is the setting for fluing the background or focusing into the every subject on your screen. The TV mode is about shutter speed priority, how fast or how slow the image is going to be. For instance, for the sports photography or for the Northern Lights photographies. P mode is a very beginner mode for the uh, photographers you can change ISO and you can change the shutter speed auto mode is just an auto mode you just go and shoot just click and shoot them out let's say very simple moreover you get the flashlight mode it just opens the flashlight in every kind of situation there are also distinct modes yeah gorgeous modes you can do some fisheye effects um, you can do grainy effects, maybe you can do brown or black and white effects and um, many distinct effects as well. Furthermore, if you're going to click ISO in here, there's a screen pops up in the touch screen and uh, you can change ISO by going right or left into this one, into the bar. Also, if you are going to click display, you can see the image uh, properties or image preferences. Furthermore, if uh, there is a visor there, and uh, if you click display, you can see the shutter speed and the aperture. Moreover, if you are doing manual mode photography, if you are going to click this button and going to slide the bar again to right and left, it's just going to change the aperture but if you are not 
clicking to AV button and just sliding this bar in the manual mode it just changes the shutter speed as I have mentioned if you are going to click menu the menu shows up and info it changes it there is a button in here which is a very important button for the photographers and who are using their smartphones a lot and who wants to transfer their photos to their smartphones or computer devices this is just a Wi-Fi button of the camera. If you are going to click this button, the Wi-Fi screen shows up and you can just select the device that you really want to connect. And there is a screen that pops up in your device. Maybe it's the smartphones or the computers or anything, etc. You just apply and you just click OK. Then you can uh, transfer your images or you can just use your smartphone as your camera device you can change settings from there moreover this button is uh, clicking for ok in every kind of settings this is right this is left for the manual focusing mode if you click this one the gallery shows up you can go to the left photography by clicking left right again moreover there is a trash can button as you can understand you can delete your photos with the trash can Moreover, I would like to show the left side of the camera to you. This is the left side of the camera. There is a switch button there. The AV or MF. AV means auto focus. MF means manual focus. By just doing that, you can switch to manual focus. Here it is in manual focus. And doing that by switching to auto focus mode. I also would like to show you the right hand side of the camera here is the right hand side of the camera you can just connect your device into your smartphone or to your computer by just opening this part and there's an HDMI port over there there's the USB port and the HDMI port and uh, one of the most important things about the camera is that you can uh, you can change to 18 to 55 millimeter of lenses settings by just doing a right thing it's 18 right now it's 55 55 is the most zoomed in and 18 is the most zoomed out so you can take landscape photos with the 18 more portrait street photos or more far away distant uh, more distant object and here is the camera from the front as you can see is its lens here is the most uh, maybe the one of the most significant buttons in the camera it just takes photo <laughs> and uh, also I would like to show the down part of the camera if we're adjusting that so here is uh, the place for your batteries or SD cards you can just open Oops. you just open here doing that is just releases the battery also here is the SD card as you can see I'm going to press it it just uh, pops up then I take it the SD card has been released. All in all, the Canon ES200D is a very good camera. I'm using this camera for 11 months and I'm very satisfied with the image quality, with its lightweight and also with its uh, standard kit lens 18-55mm. I'm uh, posting to buy a new lens, maybe a more portrait or more zoomed in telezoom lenses, but right now I'm very satisfied with the overall quality. The camera's visor is uh, very effective during the daylight conditions because the sun comes across or sun is coming behind of you. It's very hard to see the touch screen sometimes. But using the visor is going to create more effective photo. I usually transfer my photos to my smartphone using the Wi-Fi option in the camera because it's uh, very misleading during the daylight conditions to look at the touch screen 
just only because the daylight conditions it's very hard to understand I really want to see the photo in my smartphone I have look is it going to be in the social media and I can change uh, I can use the Adobe Lightroom to change the lighting conditions maybe the RGB rate or anything etc I had used the camera's uh, standard flashlight option for a couple of times and it's a uh, very good for its uh, price because I didn't buy a new very big flashlight for the night photography but I had taken some of my friends photos with the flashlight the overall quality is very satisfying if you are new to camera business and you want to enter the photography as a beginner photographer I definitely advise you to buy Canon EOS 200D for its very cheap price but it's very good quality in the market because if you are going to spend more money to the more expensive DSLR cameras it's just going to be very expensive for you because it has got lots of properties to use lots of options to use that you cannot even understand right now it's all over for me I would like to see your comments and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and uh, please do not forget to like the video I hope to see you in my next video so Bye-bye, good evening again.